Linda was ready to be married after her um, first getting into her residency. We thought that yes, she's up to the wedding. She's up to the right time to be married. And we started praying for her when she was only 12 years old. Because one of the auntie told us, our children, God already selected the mates for our children. And it is the parents' responsibility to pray for their mates to come. So we've been praying for Rena's uh, maid for when she was only 12 years old. And it is so happened, like we were just thinking about finding the right matches and all that, but this is the time. And I, this is what we ask God to show us, uh, his purpose and his will in Rena's life. So that is one condition we said, it is always, it is good that head of the household of the bride side, head of the household of the groom side have to have the talks. Normally in this wedding relationship, especially in uh, our Indian culture, it's always the woman who start all of the process. But that was my condition, that was my prayer to God. If it is the right person, you let the groom's father talk to the bride's father. Normally in our house, I'm the one who always picks up the phone no matter what time of the day our phone rings, our house phone rings. That particular Sunday, and uh, uh, we were getting ready to go to church, and the phone rang, and uh, I was upstairs, and my husband happens to answer that phone call. And that phone call came from Arun's dad from India, and he said, brother, my name is Prakash Polipaka, and uh, I heard about your daughter, and my, if you permit, we will ask our son, who lives in Boston, to come for Pendichukulu to see your daughter. So that happened 10 years ago, in September 